Good morning, gorgeous people. Happy Saturday. It's Saturday. I've got a nice little spot here. It is that time of the month and my skin is not enjoying it this time round. Uh, I don't know whether anyone else notices that, but some months I'm absolutely fine. You know, I'll have some cramps, but they'll be manageable. And then other months I will literally be keeled over in pain and my skin will be reacting i'll have like i just you know i'll just have all the symptoms it's so fun being a woman isn't it but anyway i'm not gonna complain it is what it is and we just get on with it don't we so this morning i have laminated my brows we're still on a bit of a growth journey you can actually see really well there how much my eyebrows are growing in um but i don't know why but well, everyone has this issue, but your brows are never the same, are they? They're never, they never grow in at the same rate. They never grow in at the same thickness, the same shape. They just, I'm trying my best, but we'll get there. We'll get there. Thank God for makeup anyway, hey, so we can make them look at least like they're related. So this morning I have just laminated my brows and dyed my brows. And now I'm just going to um, pop a bit of makeup on. I did film a makeup reel last week but i just hated all of the footage so that didn't end up going up so i'm going to try and refilm it this morning and hopefully i'll like the footage and i can get that up on my instagram so keep your eyes peeled for that last night i meant to pick up my camera but i just got a bit carried away with the evening and um, we had a really really nice evening kieran cooked for me last night because on valentine's day he was actually working so we didn't actually get to have like our proper valentine's like meal and things like that on valentine's day so we had it yesterday instead and that was gorgeous it was so nice he cooked me um a parmesan and cheddar chicken with um he does this really nice um spinach with like philadelphia and things it's really nice mashed potato and peas and that was gorgeous we really enjoyed that and then we had pudding and we had a bottle of prosecco so that was really really cute it's really nice and then tonight we're actually going out with my um we're having like a little bit of a triple date we, we've got like this group and we call it triple dating and it's me kira and my brother and his fiance and then my cousin and her partner as well so we love going out with them it's really really fun so we're going out with them again tonight we're gonna go and have some food somewhere local and maybe a few drinks so that'll be really nice as well Arlo's actually gone to watch our local team they're playing away so he's gone to watch that this weekend so I actually um have a free weekend which is a very rare one he's not back with me until Monday now and it's Saturday today so I will miss him so much because I honestly I hate him being away I love him being with me um it's so funny because some parents are like obviously we all love our kids i'm not trying to say that but some parents are like oh yeah a break like sort of thing um and they obviously really enjoy it but honestly i'm awful i'm so attached and every second that he's not with me i'm just waiting for him to come back um <laughs> he's gonna hate me for that when he's older when i'm like wanting to spend time with him and he's gonna want to be out with his friends but it's fine so i'm just making the most of him actually liking spending time with me at the moment so yeah so i'm gonna film this makeup reel and then i am maybe going to pop to the shops because i want to go and have a look in primark my cousin got this gorgeous um brown blazer from primark and i just thought it honestly it looks so nice it doesn't look like it's from primark at, at all it looks really expensive so I might pop and see if I can get my hands on that. I also wanted to see if I could get, you know, those really thick headbands that are really in at the moment. I really wanted to go and see if I could find some of them because I saw someone else's vlog the other day and they had some in Primark. So hopefully I'm going to um, go and have a look at that. I might wait till Kieran's back because we can go together then and if he needs anything then he can pick that up as well. He's just gone to a car event thing this morning so he's been gone since about quarter past eight so he's been gone for a few hours now so he shouldn't be long he'll probably be back soon so i'm going to get myself sorted and then i might pop to primark and then yeah i'll take you along on my day with me okay so i've just finished filming this makeup reel this is my 
natural glam look this is probably my go-to makeup look for most of my occasions um if i'm not going for like a super heavy glam obviously i've gone really light on the eyes so if you like the look of this makeup look then please do go over to my instagram and keep an eye out for it and give it some love if you like it it really really gives me like such a confidence boost when i see that people like the content that i'm producing so yeah please do go and give it some love um kieran's just texting said he's on his way back so i need to get myself dressed and then maybe drag him to broughton um i'll see what he wants to do as well um he might have something in mind that he wants to do so if we do anything fun then i'll take you along with us okay so i've just got back from broughton um i didn't get too much but what i did get i want your opinion on so i've bought these headbands because i've seen everyone wearing them and i think they look so nice on other people um obviously my hair isn't in its best like situation yet either um but i don't know like i don't know if they suit me obviously i'm gonna give them a bit of a go with um when my hair is like properly styled because at the moment it needs a wash and it's a bit greasy and things like that um but yeah i'm not sure we're gonna have to like give it a bit more of a another chance um so let me know what you think i'm really not sure maybe if i try on a different color and see what and see what that looks like then maybe that will change my opinion let me put on a different color and then we'll 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 see what we think okay so this is the gray which i'm like in two minds like half of me really likes it half of me isn't sure so i need your opinion i need you to tell me what you think whether you think that they suit me or not and yeah leave me some comments down below of what you think because half of me loves it half of me isn't sure whether they suit me but then i don't know whether it's just because i'm not used to wearing these sort of headbands but i think the gray looks better than the black but maybe that's just because my hair's so dark and the lighting and things like i can't really see the black but i'm gonna give them a bit more of a chance i also want to find some that's like slightly thicker um i think that would look nice as well so yeah i'm I'm in two minds, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm gonna give them a little bit of a chance. Um, I also got a blazer, so I'm just gonna try that on for you. Um, I'll just pop you up here. I also got a blazer. See, I'm not sure, like, do I like it? Do I not like it? Do I like it? I don't know, but anyway, I also got this blazer, which I'm in love with, not with this outfit, but my cousin had this on last time we went on our little girls um, night out and it looked gorgeous on her. She's blonde, so it did look really, really nice. But it's just this really nice, I don't know if you can see the colour properly, it's just a chocolatey oversized blazer and I got this in a size 12 um, because I do like them quite oversized. But I love this, I think this is really, really cute um yeah love it and this was i think this was 27 pounds the headbands come in a pack of three so i showed you the black and also i've got the gray on and it also comes with this really cute pinky color it's like a baby pink and i think that the pack of those together were two pounds and then the only other thing that i got were these um squeletto ombre french nails because what i'm gonna do is i've seen that apparently you can apply these but with gel um by ab so obviously i'm gonna give that a go see what that turns out like because i really really want to like as you can see i'm embarrassed to show you these but my nails are not the best they're not the best they're not the best shape so i'm just gonna hopefully put these on and have nice nails for the evening for when we go out i can't remember whether i told you i think i did tell you that we're going out for food tonight so i'll take you along with me to that as well if i remember to so now we've just got back 
I'm going to go and do my nails. We're going to have a nice cup of tea and uh, probably a few biscuits because that's a guilty pleasure of ours when we ever get any time to ourselves. That is what we always do. I don't know why, but I've gone a bit cold. I've gone a bit cold since we've got back. So I'm going to put a hoodie on just to keep warm. And I'm going to go and do my nails. So when I'm done, if they turn out how I'm hoping that they will, then I'll show you. So I'll see you in a bit. So I don't actually know how I've done this, but I'm actually ready to go almost an hour early, which is crazy. That never happens. Kieran hasn't even started getting ready yet, and I'm already ready. But that means that I can go downstairs and I can enjoy a couple of glasses of something before we go. So that'd be really nice. Um, I don't really drink a lot, but tonight I think I'm going to have a couple of drinks. So I just want to show you what I'm wearing. I'm wearing my new blazer that I bought from Primark today. Just a um, little white crop. No idea where that's from, I can't really remember. Um, these are Primark jeans as well, actually, I think. Or are they Pretty Little Thing? I think they're Pretty Little Thing, actually. And then you obviously can't see my shoes. I'll try and get a full body one before I go. These shoes, which are also from Primark, I'm like rocking the whole Primark look today. Um, yeah, and then I'm gonna use my little Borg, is it Borg? Bag. And that's me all ready to go. So I'm gonna go in and enjoy my gin and I will show you my whole outfit before I go. Okay, so quickly, just wanna show you my outfit. This is my outfit in the mirror. You can see it better. Um, and yeah, we're ready to go. I'm absolutely starving. I can't wait to eat. I have no idea what I'm gonna have, but um, as long as it's not too crazy busy, then I'll show you what we're having and where we are and all that. If not, then I will speak to you in the morning and I will let you know how our evening went. Smile, everyone. Smile. 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 Food. Don't move. Don't move. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good day. <laughs> Smile, Chris. <laughs> Chrissy. <laughs> Adria. <laughs> Smile. Let's see, the, let's see the baby. Great sound. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, beautiful people. Happy Sunday. I've been downstairs for a couple of hours a good couple of hours and I you know like when I don't know if anyone else is like this but I don't drink often so when I do it really affects me the next day like I feel so lethargic so like low energy like no motivation so it is now 10 to 11 and I thought <laughs> enough is enough you need to get yourself going um and I just need to get myself sorted so I'm just about to chuck some clothes on sort my hair out and I really want to tidy the house because I can't relax and I can't enjoy my day if the house is a state and obviously the house is not looking the best at the moment i want to get the bed made want to tidy up downstairs want to clean around everywhere and make sure everywhere's nice and nice nice and nice nice and clean so that i can enjoy it and just enjoy the afternoon so i'm going to get that all done this morning um the last you would have seen was um probably last night while we were out we had such a great night it was really really nice food was lovely company was great and yeah it was just like really really nice to see everyone we really really enjoyed it such a weird thing happened though while we were out so we literally just pulled up just gone into the restaurant sat down ordered a drink and then next minute one of the waitresses came over and they said 
does anyone own a Porsche? And my partner was like, yeah, why? They were like, someone's just phoned up and said that someone's hit the Porsche. So we were like, oh my God, like, obviously that's not great. So we quickly got up, ran outside to see. There was no one around. And when we pulled up, when we pulled up as well, we deliberately parked next to my brother and he was like parked on an angle and then we were parked here. So there was like no one else around. Like the car park's quite a big car park, so it's not tight or anything. And there was no one else around. And we always try and park like somewhere where you're not really in anyone's way because obviously Kieran is like car obsessed. Like he really looks after his cars and you know that's his worst nightmare for something to happen to one of his cars. So so yeah, so we were like, oh my god, like dreading it. I was walking outside thinking, oh my god, that's a great start to the night. What are we going to see? So only, obviously it was like going dark at this point. It was like pretty dark, couldn't really see much. So we were there with the camera and we couldn't see anything on the car. Well, nothing obvious anyway. So obviously Kieran's going to have another look at it today. He's in work now, um, but I'm sure he's going to have a look at today at the car. Um, but we we went around with the, ca with the camera, the, not the camera, the light. And we're like, you know, really going close to the car, feeling, checking. We couldn't see anything. So we were like, well, who's hit the car? And where, you know, we couldn't see anything obvious, which obviously is great because if there had been like something big, that would have been so annoying and really upsetting. So we were really glad that there was nothing obvious, but it was just so weird. So we asked the waitress what, you know, what had happened. And basically she said that someone had rang the pub on a withheld number and she said it was a, a female voice on the phone saying uh, someone's hit the Porsche um, and that that was pretty much it she said I'm just bringing to let you know someone has has hit the Porsche in the car park it was just dead weird but she they left no details they didn't leave a name they obviously rang on a withheld number um, and then we also asked in the pub to have a look at the cameras and see who'd left and things like that and they did that and no one had left the pub everyone who was at the pub when we arrived was still at the pub no cars that we were parked in the car park had left and yeah it was just really really like one of those situations where there is no explanation for what has just happened and for there to be no mark on the car that we could see obvious, that was really obvious, obviously that's to be determined today when Kieran really checks the car, but so, so weird. So um, the woman, she said the CCTV, she couldn't, she couldn't like um, rewind the CCTV properly because I don't know why she needed to get like an engineer out to come and do that. So she's going to do that um, tomorrow on Monday, she's going to get an engineer to come out and just review the footage to see exactly what happened because it's honestly just baffled us all like and none of us could like come up with an explanation the only thing I said was that maybe someone has come into the car park has has hit it but obviously not at speed so has luckily not done any damage but they maybe think that they have and have panicked and left or this lady, whoever was on the phone, maybe lives nearby, has seen something go on, or thinks she's seen something go on, so she's gonna, she wanted to report it. But it's just so weird because the the person on the phone didn't say what car had hit it, what colour the car was, you know, didn't get any details and didn't tell us much apart from the fact that they'd something had happened. That was it. So yeah, it's just one of those really, really weird situations and to be honest, that's the most annoying part because it's like, you want to know what's happened, especially when it's your property and, you know, yeah. So that was, apart from that, which was very, very weird and obviously baffling, apart from that, we had a really, really good night um, and as I was saying, I had quite a few wines last night which is unlike me because I don't really usually drink, I usually drive, but obviously because Kieran was working today, he said, oh, it's fine, I'll drive this I'll drive this time. So he drove and I had a couple of glasses of wine, but today I am feeling it. Like, I'm feeling so tired. And I wasn't drunk or anything last night, but I think this is why I don't drink very often because it really does, like, write me off for the next day. Anyway, 
I had a great time and it was worth it and I don't have much that I need to do today so it's absolutely fine but I want to get myself up now get the house nice and clean get myself sorted so that I can enjoy being in a quiet house by myself Kieran's back tonight after work so I'll make us some tea later on and Arlo usually would be back with me now but because he went to watch the football um he isn't actually back with me till tomorrow so yeah I'm gonna be really really missing him but I'm I've spoken to him this morning and he's had a great time he's really enjoyed it so I'm gonna ring him again later once he's um back more this way um so yeah um if I get up to anything exciting then I'll show you but I'm just gonna make the bed and start getting this house looking a bit nicer so it is now what time is it just gone quarter past seven um i've had just really a chilled afternoon i popped to aldi to get us some dinner um it's actually in the oven now it's gorgeous um lasagna this is like one of my favorite things from aldi you know when you want to have like a really quick dinner it's so yummy so if you haven't tried this then go and have a go um and i've also got us a cheesy garlic bread as well to go with it and i'm also gonna pop on some broccoli also i got us these really nice uh chocolate mousse so i thought that'd be nice as a nice little treat for after um also if you haven't tried these a little snack these spicy chorizo and chili cheddar roll what is it rollitos rollitos is that what they're called so good love these really really nice so i'm just um waiting for dinner to be cooked we're gonna chill out watch a bit of telly kieran's just got home from work so he's having a shower and then we're gonna chill out um so nothing too exciting to show you i have had a no makeup day and i am looking very very tired the dark circles are out in full force tonight um but yeah just a cozy chilled out evening really missing my baby tonight and um, can't wait to see him tomorrow i'm literally counting down the minutes because i really miss him i hate being away from him i'm so like attached like that i love it. just him being with me all the time um so yeah i am going to chill out we're gonna eat our tea watch a bit of telly and yeah that'll be it for today's vlog i hope that you've enjoyed spending a few days with me um having a nice chilled weekend and things um so yeah if you did like this video then please do give it a thumbs up and comment down below if you like the sort of video and you want me to do more and also if you don't already go and follow me over on instagram because i'd love to connect with people over there as well my instagram is at it's underscore danielle lou underscore i'll link it down below so please go and follow me over there as well and let me know if you've come over from youtube because i'd love to know that as well so yeah i hope you have a, a lovely rest of your weekend you'll probably be seeing this next weekend um so yeah i hope you enjoy this video and i'll see you all again soon